Hello and welcome to my channel Simple Cutting and Sewing and today I am going to teach you simplest and easiest way to make front twist knot. You can make twist knot below your bust just like I made or on the top of your bust. It's totally your choice. So let's dive into our video. Before we start our video, please make sure you like, share and subscribe this channel. So I am using Ponte Roma fabric, it is stretchy fabric, little thicker, good for a winter. So take your total measurement. I am taking 28 inches and mark it where you want to take your measurement and then simply cut the piece uh, your, of your total measurement. And these fabric, Ponte Roma fabric, they are quite wide area fabric. So um, like uh, as you can see, um, this piece I'm cutting, there is enough for my top width like a front and back so now i am going to get these two pieces separate and these are wide enough for the front and back i'm going to separate these front and back because this is a front twist knot so i will be uh, cutting front and back little uh, back separate because front i want to give little more uh, width than the back one so I, I started with the um, neckline so keep uh, I added some measurement so you keep following and uh, this is a neckline for the back side of the um, top and shoulder measurement I'm taking 7.5 inches you take your own measurement and armhole measurement 8 inches and then um, I will be taking 1 inches and I'm going diagonal for shoulders because our shoulders are not straight. And then take your measurement of bust and divide it by four so i divided my bust measurement and i'm taking um, 11 inches here and i added seam allowance as well now from the top come down 15 inches sorry 17 inches so this area we will be taking our waist and then you take your waist measurement and divide it by four so give it a shape just like i'm doing so give a shape for the bust measurement and uh, your waist and then because I'm making a line top so I gave a shape for uh, the rest of the part and now I'm going to use my scissor and cut this back part and this armhole area I have given a slight curve if you want to use a pattern I have done one video one or two videos I think before how to cut the patterns I will add in the description so you can check how to cut the patterns for bodies so after cutting the back part I will be start cutting the front part now I have pinned this up so we will be simply placing this part uh, for the front uh, with the little changes now I place this back part on the front part of the fabric and I will be marking using my chalk in the same way so there will be little changes in the front and most of the measurement will be the same shoulder measurement neckline I will start I will just mark everything as it is and now I'm going to make V neckline and first of all uh, front armhole um, is a little deeper than the front one so I give about uh, about one centimeter deep one centimeter one and a half inches and now here I am going down eight inches eight inches diagonally V neckline and now I am going to give a I'm checking its measurement waist measurement and now from the shoulder I'm coming down 15 inches and I mark it here 4 inches so the, uh, from here I'm going to give a cut here I want my twist here so wherever you want your twist you um, mark it like this as I am doing and because waist measurement I am going to make a twist so uh, waist is not as um, uh, slim as I did at the back one so I left at least two inches um, margin for the waist so I'm cutting it exactly like I did for the previous one with a v neckline 
and I'm making sure that um, my measurements are correct and now I'm cutting the side of the top and it is slightly bigger than the back one because I'm going to go give a twist now I'm cutting it and then stop here where I mark so basically uh, four inches I stop where I am gonna give a twist so first of all I am going to make neck linings so neck lining when neck li will be clear back and front neck it will be easy to make the rest of the top so in this video I will be only showing you the uh, twist so I'm not going to give in detail for uh, sleeves because I'm adding sleeves as well but I have done few videos on sleeves so you can check if you like so here I am cutting neckline according to uh, my size I just fold it and two inches wide fabric I cut and that, that I will be placing it on my neckline so next one I will be cutting in the same way for the back side of the um, uh, top So now for uh, the front neckline, the piece we cut simply place it from the front side. So uh, I will be, I am fixing it with the pins and then I will take it under my sewing machine. And now here we are going to make a twist. So what I will be doing, one twist and then twist again. So in this way, right side will come back to the right side and back the uh, back side will come toward the back side and now I'm using my thread and needle and I'm um, joining these uh, two parts which I cut so go as close as possible near the twist so I have stitched one side and then similar way I will be stitching other side as well Now you can see the twist. So I will be taking these uh, stitches under the sewing machine to fix it. Now I'm going to use my sewing machine and uh, uh, stitch these um, joints first where I made a twist. So make sure because it's stretchy fabric you can pull a little bit near the knot and make sure you go close as possible you can go to the uh, knot. Now I'm going to stitch these neck linings and then I will be folded, folding it back side and then I will do hemming. Knot has been done so our top is almost uh, done. And I will be giving a small cut so um, it can fix. Now this is done front part and I'm going to fix it attach the back side so make sure there is a no hole in between your uh, twi um, your um, uh, twist uh, just taking an extra thread off uh, 
and where there is any gap you can just fix it with a needle and thread so now the back part so this is the front part of the back side and I'm going to attach it with the front part so right side facing each other match your um, armholes and stitch all the sides and now I have fixed both side neckline um, I simply twist the back neckline over the front neckline and then now I, when I open is a neat stitching and now side has been done and our top is almost done so this is our top front twist that is a I can see um, a little finger gap so I'm going to fix it with my needle and uh, thread so just like I go close as possible to the knot and I'm fixing it with the needle so there shouldn't be any spare gap in between the twist because when I will, we will pull the um, twist there shouldn't be a gap now it is fixed and our front twist um, is done and then uh, I will do hemming and I will attach sleeves so sleeves I as I mentioned I'm not going to go in detail I have done few videos and our front top is a uh, front uh, twist knot is done and hope you learn something new today I am adding sleeves and you can wear it without sleeves as well because this is a winter top so I am going to add some sleeves and how to cut sleeves I have done few videos I will attach the link you can check them and uh, um, hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my another video bye